Hey RVers and future RVers, I'm Mikey B at Beckley's RVs. We've got a special one for you today. A motorhome that's probably not on your radar yet. It is a company that's been out about six to eight years called East to West. One has gone east and the other one has gone west, so what? And they released this brand new motorhome called the Alita. Today we're gonna cover first impressions of the 23 TK Alita. Again, Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's jump into this rig. All right, before we get into this new release, I just wanted to point out some of the exterior features that really make it, this uh, motorhome pop. If you look behind me, just the aesthetics of the motorhome, it's got clean lines, got a cool look to it, and it just really gives an awesome presence about the motorhome. Again, this is the East to West Alita 23TK. But starting up front, we're gonna dive a little bit more, more further into um, the chassis when we get inside, but it's a Ford Transit all-wheel drive motorhome, which is super cool to start off with. Moving to the back, I'm all about party o patio time if you see my other videos. Check this out. It is an armless Gerard, Gerard awning. No arms, no pieces that I'm gonna bump my head in if I'm not paying attention. And it spans the whole side of the coach so we can get a lot of coverage underneath here. And of course, we're gonna, br we're gonna go camp and we'd love all our stuff to bring with us. We've got a, a cable hookup if we wanna throw a TV in. Nice baggage handle doors here that um, are easy just with a flick of the thumb. But I love the fact that they've done all this, the, the, the main storage area in a um, rotoclast plastic, so I don't have to worry about throwing dirty stuff in. Um, when I get home, pop the plug, throw a hose to it, and easily wash out. And if that storage isn't enough, check out what's underneath. This particular model has a rear bed, and so what they've done is elevated the bed a little bit to give us awesome amount of pass-through storage. And again, the bottom piece is the, the rotocast, so anything long, like maybe some big um, awning mats or anything like uh, that might need some big uh, area, boom, you've got it right here. And right above here is the frameless windows. Again, we'll dive a little bit further into those inside, but again, just a nice clean look to the exterior. So I'm showing up in, into the campgrounds with some awesome style. On the back side, we do have a ladder so we can access the roof, but I really wanted to point that out because you have a solar panel up top to be able to capture some of the wonderful uh, sun UV rays. So, we're gonna need it, because you're gonna see inside, we've got a couple 12 volt components that allows us to be able to get off the grid plenty um, with, um, with plenty ease. Again, another storage that leads to that big pass-through, so that way we can grab a, a, lot, of our, um, a lot of our gear out uh, easily from either side. And last thing I wanna point out on the exterior is we're gonna have a backup camera and side cameras. So it gives me that full visibility and that confidence to be able to do lane changes, back up into a tight campground, etc. Again, this is just a few of the exterior features on this Alita 23 TK. All right, we're finally inside the Alita 23 TK. I'm gonna tease you a little bit longer for the interior, but I've gotta really point out this versatile chassis in this motorhome that's gonna uh, just make RVing even that much better. Not only do you have all the cool features in the motorhome, but I'm gonna have a pleasure driving this thing. It is the Ford Transit all-wheel drive uh, chassis, which is super superb. It's, uh, gosh, over 300 horsepower and 400 pounds of uh, torque. But again, it's all-wheel drive. That gives, gives me the ability to get into a lot of different terrain. Um, and then beyond that is also a 10-speed uh, transmission. And yeah, like, you know, whoop de doo 10, 10-speed. 10 but that gives us a lot of gears in between, um, uh, you know, obviously highway speeds and city speeds, which really maximizes the fuel economy and the power out of that engine. So we're getting into a lot of uh, steep uh, mountain climbs. I've got a bunch more gears in there so we don't go gear hunting and save me on some MPGs. But going back to the all-wheel drive, uh, chassis uh, a component of it. It is super cool. I'm just sitting here playing around with with this uh, touch screen and I notice this drive mode button. Check this out. It actually will uh, change the the uh, the chassis or the drive train uh, accordingly to based on where we're at. So if we're maybe in a rainy situation, we can touch slippery or if we got a, a, a something behind us that we're towing, we can put the motorhome in tow, tow haul. Not sure what we're gonna do about the mud and ruts. I don't, you know, like experienced professional driver only right but anyway just while we're here check out the touchscreen we have a dedicated touchscreen for that I can easily um, 
uh, ergonomically get to all my features in the motorhome. And that way the backup camera, I have a dedicated second uh, screen here just to give me that visibility behind me. And beyond the, uh, the backup camera, as I mentioned on the outside, we also have side cameras. So as we do a, a quick um, turn signal, uh, activation, we can see that uh, side of the motorhome so we can safely get into some lane changes. And then the last thing I've got to really point out about this cab is just the ergonomics. I've got a lot of seat adjustments, I've got the steering adjustment. The steering wheel just feels nice and comfortable. It's a leather wrapped steering wheel. All my push buttons right here so that way I can keep my eyes right on the traffic on the flow of the road with big mirrors on the side along with again those side cameras. So anybody can drive this and trust me you got it you got to come out and take a test drive all right further without further ado let's dive into this motorhome and the floor plan we're just going to go front to back a lot of these all-wheel drive chassis the transit chassis a lot of them we're kind of called that class b uh, plus right it literally has a nose of the uh, motorhome that kind of runs in line with the uh, windshield alita chose to do something a little bit different by building out the cab uh, uh, somewhat and get a second i'm going to say a second because you'll see here in a little bit but another sleeping capacity out there so that way you've got the grandkids along with you or you have some camping buddies now we have a what is perceived as a couple's coach. Now we've got some extra sleeping space for, for those uh, extra travelers. And then TV wise, we've got two TVs. You're gonna see one in the bedroom that's huge, but we have that visibility that we can move around, um, whether you're at the sofa or you're up here at the bed, we can, we can get into that. And as I mentioned outside, the solar panel on the roof is important because this a lot of the components in here, or I should say our main components are 12 volt. So that way we can pull up in that Walmart parking lot, we can uh, pull up into a rest stop. I don't have to worry about turning on my generator. We do have a 4,000 watt generator as a power source here to get into some of those big electrical items, but that way at least you don't have to worry about burning the fuel. So again, TV across from the sofa here, nice two person sofa that I can sit and relax, maybe squeeze a kid in uh, at night here and maybe do some uh, you know, nighttime book reading. But you'll see these, these little pieces in here. We do have a table that we'll be able to put in front of us that we have a, a dinette to enjoy the morning coffee or get into some of those meal times with a lot of storage, a lot of 12 volt hookups. You're gonna see when you get into this thing, a lot of receptacles around the whole motorhome. So that way I've got a lot of um, versatility with plugging in, you know, cell phones, iPads, laptops, if you're working on the road, whatever you may need. All right, getting into the kitchen area. I've got, I love the clean look of this. Um, go camping. I do most of my cooking outside. So I think this is a smart move. What they've done here is they've done a portable induction um, stove top here for you. Induction's really cool. Uh, gives you, I guess, a, a, a surface that's cool to the touch, even though you might be using it. But the fact that I can plug it in, guess what? I can take it outside. So again, I'm doing most of my cooking outside. I have that, um, um, I guess, that portability factor. But check this out. When I stow it, how much more counter space I'm picking up. I've got tons of counter space, throw up the coffee pot, plug it in, etc. whatever we need to do. And if that's not enough, of course, you've got this uh, sink cover here to give you even more uh, counter space, but that sink is a nice, big, deep stainless steel sink there. So I can get in uh, some of my large pots and pans with a nice uh, sprayer nozzle here. And finish off this counter space, we've got a nice flip up counter uh, top that we can, again, just get into a lot, lot more surface area for, for some prep. Plenty of storage, as you saw, a couple couple drawers here, a nice big one at the bottom to throw my pots and pans, some storage underneath, and of course, storage over top. Microwave just for those last minute critical quick uh, reheats that you may need. Moving back, and then of course, we've got our refrigerator with a dedicated freezer, which is super cool. We can keep, keep some of that stuff obviously separated a little bit easier. It's not all, all in one kind of thing. But again, 
12 volts. So that way we'd have that um, uh, pow power source, obviously, when we're driving from the, the alternator from the chassis and we have our chassis battery. So, and then along with the um, solar panel at the top, this thing going on all the time and I don't have to worry about burning propane or whatever. We got storage above that. They've got a nice big shirt closet here that we can stow a lot of items. Some more drawers that we can pack up and fold up some of our smaller garments. And then opposite of this is a big bathroom. We've got two doors that we can open up and access the bathroom and they do have like a magnetic catch at the top. So that way we can um, just open it up and almost use it as a walkthrough bath. I'm gonna squeeze in here. Nick and I are gonna change spots and then we'll go into this bathroom here real quick. All right, so it's a little bit of a tight squeeze in this bathroom, but again, uh, as, um, as I mentioned earlier, we have the two doors that open up so we can really open and, and get a, a, a bigger feel out of the bathroom. But we still have our uh, little sink here, brush up our teeth. We've got some storage below that and right behind me. But most important to me, I think, using all these different RVs over the years is a sink is a sink. I can use a sink here, I can use a sink there. I can go use the bathhouse sink. It's that shower, especially with the kiddos and stuff when we were camping earlier, it's being able to do that last minute inconvenient moment uh, of, of cleanup. And I've got plenty of elbow space and head height here. And with a lot of, um, you know, with a skylight, a lot of good natural lighting come into this bathroom. So it doesn't feel claustrophobic, even though it is a little bit smaller of a footprint. So again, Nick and I are gonna switch spots. We're gonna go into that last piece of this motorhome floor plan, the bedroom. All right, the last part of this awesome floor plan bedroom. And I, um, Man, I, I don't know, it just feels huge. Again, we have like a lot of light. We have big windows on both sides. We can capture some of the nice cross breeze and, and uh, just that natural light. And take a pause here while we talk about and talk about these windows. These are really cool. As I mentioned outside, they're the frameless windows. So they crank out. So we have that jealousy factor, which is, in, when I had my truck camper, I loved the jealousy style window because even if we had a, like a light drizzle or, or a rain that was coming more straight down, not, not necessarily like a monsoon, I could keep this open and still get some fresh air. But they've integrated also, which is really cool, um, the sh nightshade and, and a screen. It's not that cumbersome kind of, um, you know, you know, shade at the top that you pull down, rip the strings over time. More importantly, just out in out uh you know where somebody's gonna knock and beat it up so these are integrated nicely in in with the window to just give a nice good clean look but check out this bed this bed is huge um i don't know if it's a king size bed you might have to do some research and check me on the measurements but i can easily get two adults back here and our dog which I mean, as you guys know your dog takes up more room than a, than a human being and they've got plenty of storage at the top a lot of lights and as i mentioned previously we have tons of um, charge stations uh, receptacles and stuff so we can get into charging everything and check out this tv i mean if the bed's not big enough we got a, <laughs> plenty of a tv back here to capture uh, some really cool moments at night as we're maybe decompressing watching a a fun movie or a sports game and then of course if you do have some of your camping friends we do have a, a curtain that that closes off uh, pretty much right behind the camera view here so we can get that little bit of privacy so what do you think everybody this is again all new for east to west which is pretty much a new company been out about six eight years this is called the alita and this floor plan is a 23 tk all right so what do you think of this new alita motorhome by east to west you like it give us a thumbs up and comment below. We'd love to hear some of your input. Again, brand new. We're going to, I'm sure we're going to see some, uh, you know, some good feedback, but love to hear the functionality aspect to it. What did you think? A, a typical small couples coach that maybe can sleep some more, camp some more. I love it. I think it's got a nice, good, clean lines, um, some great features to it and a, a little essence of simplicity so we can get out there into just about any campground. Again, I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Show us some love, smash that subscribe button. We'll see you at the campsites.